Hello! Today I'm going to do the Webasto heating up a tank of water and then using that tank of water as a shower. I think that's the safest and most likely way that you'll be using your Webasto here. So this is just the plain Webasto, no Arduino, nothing special fancy. Just uh, the Webasto. Mine's running the Hungarian ECU, because my ECU was dead. If your ECU is dead and or CAN bus, you can get the Hungarian ECU, which will change your Webasto into just being a normal Webasto that operates from a 12 volt, a positive 12 volt trigger. This setup is so just Webasto plugged in normally, and then we have this little, well, it should be a 12 volt temperature controller, but the Muppets uh, sent me 100 20 and 240 volt one, so mine's currently connected to the mains, which is mildly dangerous. And its probe goes in the tank. I've set it to 36 degrees, so when I plug in the power supply, this will turn on, it'll show us the temperature of the water, it'll fire up the Webasto, heat it up to 36 degrees, this will click off, which will tell the Webasto to turn off, and then we'll have water at 36 degrees, and I'll put in the cheapest, nastiest 12 volt shower that I found on eBay. So let's fire this up and I'll speed it up, I won't show you heating up the whole... Oh, uh, this is a 60 litre tank but I've only got it filled halfway 30 litres because I don't have all the time in the world to heat up. Well, I say that, I don't know how long it'll take up to... take how long it'll take to heat up 30 litres, but double it for 60, honestly. So, let's fire up. I am plugging in the powers. The power supply? The power supply, here we go. Power supply on. Webasto, firing up. Temperature of water, 4.2 degrees. Let's zoom in on that. Zoom. Temperature of water, 4.2 degrees. There's the Webasto. I don't know if you can hear it starting. There's the fuel pump pumping. You can see the wire, no, not the wire, the hose wiggling. Zoom out a bit. Maybe we can get to see smoke. Not yet. Anyway, temperature 4.1 degrees. Okay, first failure to light was because well, it wasn't primed properly after I swapped it from the boat. So, this time, it should light up quite a place. You can see that few seconds that it ran, it brought the temperature up like a degree and a bit. Just from that little initial run. But anyway, it should fire up this time. It's now primed and I've opened the door to let this smoke out. Okay, Webasto's up and running, doing its thing. I will bring you back once this temperature gets near what it's supposed to be and then we'll see it click off. Okay, well, hopefully you can hear the Webasto thundering away in the background, it's all little five kilowatts of itself. Now, I think I set the temperature to 36 degrees, I can't actually remember, but if it gets to 36 and then it stops, then we will know. Hopefully it was 36. I don't know why I chose 36, I thought 36 sounded like a reasonable temperature for a shower. I've never actually bothered to measure the temperature of a shower. Probably something I could do, it's not hard, you know. Let's get a thermometer, go in the shower with it. But, it's not really something you'd ever think to measure. I'm also timing how long it's taking. Let me see if I can get this in shot. And we've been 13 minutes so far to get to 35.1. So here we go, hopefully, well, this should get to 36 and then click off and then the Webasto should click off and thunder down. On these controllers, but obviously you can set the temperature you want to get it to, but you can also set the temperature that it turns back on at. I've set this to 10 degrees, so it would have to drop down to 26 before it turned back on again, but you can set it within like half a degree if you wanted, so it would stay, it would try its best to stay that temperature all the time. But you don't want to be bringing the Webasto on and, on and off as quick as that, so. Yeah, you could do five degrees, you know, once it drops five. 36! It's clicked off! The Webasto. You can hear it, you can hear it is 
Shutting down now. So the bus is shutting down. We've overshot the temperature slightly, which is normal, because the bus has still got heat in it, the pump's still pumping water through it till it cools down. So we'll just let that run its thing. Oh, so that took, ah, we'll call it 15 minutes. So 30-ish litres, 15 minutes, you're talking half an hour for a full 60 litres. This is why people want to build the Wabasso show, so you don't have to wait this amount of time. Granted, if you're in a camper, you probably have an insulated tank that you'll keep hot all the time, so it's not a big of a problem. But the point of the Arduino control shower is, you start with a tank of cold water, the Wabasto heats up on demand, and then you just shower with the water to because, well, that's overshot to 40 in a bit. But I digress. All right, put my phone away and get out the cheapest, nastiest shower you can get on eBay. Turbo shower! Innovative outdoor gear. Ugh, can't remember how much this was, but it was cheap and a lot of bits just fell on the floor. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, the hook, we need that, but here's a good hook. Hey, right, so this is what you get for your, ugh, God, it's horrible. Right, now uh, this is the pump that you dump in the water. I'm gonna go through the rest of the floor. Pump, hose, 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 hose. More of this is gonna happen on the floor in a minute. Shower head, shower head with an adjuster thing between min and max. A little shower head. And hopefully there's an on off switch. And, ah, uh, where is it? Cigarette lighter. So I'm gonna go and connect this to the power supply and then we'll dangle this out the door and have a shower from it, hopefully. Okay, the pumpy end is dipped in the tank. Here is the world's most horrible switch I've ever had the misfortune get. So I've got it set on minimum just now. So let's turn this on. Hey, you know what? That's hot. Fuck now. Jesus, okay. 40 degrees is too hot. Let's slide this thing. Oh. Okay, the size maximum. Minimums. Uh, it leaks a lot. It leaks out the side. Wow. Okay. It's got good flow, actually. You know, for being a cheap ass. It's nasty, though. I mean, can you. Right, there's a leak up the side here. Tighten it's gonna tighten that down, any. That won't get any tighter. It's got a good flow. You know what? That would be absolutely all right for a camping shower. Apart from the leaks, which are leaking onto everything. Stop! Nice, okay. So the cheapest, nastiest portable shower you can get off uh, eBay. It's not, it's not terrible actually. Build qualities, fairly terrible. Oh, there's like bits of stuff coming through the pump. This connection, this, you'll need to... Oh, let me just... It doesn't come assembled. Oh, oh not that I can now disassemble it. It's too hot and I'm too slippy. Oh, this needs gasket material of some variety, silicon or something, before you go to use it. That's fairly terrible. The switch is... Well, it's waterproof. Waterproof. But it does the job. It does switch the thing on and off. So that's the, uh, if I, if I had a camper van with, and I had an insulated tank and I was going to be using hot water all the time for all things, this is probably the setup that I would choose is have a basto on a temperature controller and just leave it, heat, keeping that at, I don't know, 35 degrees with a five degree offset. So it goes up to 35, turns off. Temperature drops down to 30, turns back on again, heats back up, and just let that do its thing. Obviously, you would have a master switch so you can turn everything off, and then when you want it to be off, off, it stays off. Again, it's just you would have the diesel feed from your tank and not really worry about that because you can see the fuel gauge and how much fuel's in it and how much it's using. That would be the safest, 
easiest setup would be to do it that way. Heat a tank of water, put a shower in it, run the shower. I do have, or sorry, I should say, I have ordered a nicer shower head, etc., and flow rate valve adapters that you might use if you're using a real shower head uh, in your shower, in your camper van, and we'll be able to run that off the actual 12 volt water pump, a good 12 volt water pump, not that cheap thing. So yeah, that's the Webasto water tank fed cheapest shower you can get on the Ebays. Where is it? Where's the pump? It's in here. Which is pretty much just like a fish tank pond pump, you know, and you just drop it in your tank, press the switch, and away you go. And it totally does the thing. So, well, uh, we're busted there with the Hungarian, Hungarian ECU. Good job. Thanks for watching, guys.